Hi second graders, today we're doing lesson 16, writing an ending. I can write a strong ending for a personal narrative that links the beginning and end of my story. We're going to start by looking at the beginning and ending of Thank You Mr. Fokker by Patricia Polacco. So let's look at the beginning and the end and then we're going to think about how do the two of them link together? This is the first page from Thank You Mr. Fokker by Patricia Polacco. The grandpa held a jar of honey so that all the family could see, then dipped a ladle into it and drizzled honey on the cover of a small book. The little girl had just turned five. Stand up, little one, he cooed. I did this for your mother, your uncles, your older brother, and now you. Then he handed the book to her. Taste. She dipped her finger into the honey and put it in her, into her mouth. What does that taste, the grandma asked. The little girl answered, sweet. And all the family said in a single voice, yes, and so is knowledge, but knowledge is like the bee that made sweet honey. You have to chase it through the pages of a book. The little girl knew that the promise to read was at last hers. Soon she was going to learn to read. So on this page, the little girl has not learned how to read yet. She's excited to learn to read. Let's see about the last page. That night, Trisha ran home without stopping to catch her breath. She bounded up the front steps threw open her front door and ran through the dining room into the kitchen. She climbed up on the cupboard and grabbed a jar of honey. Then she went into the living room and found the book on a shelf, the very book that her grandpa had shown her so many years ago. She spooned honey on the cover and tasted the sweetness and said to herself, the honey is sweet and so is knowledge, but knowledge is like the bee who made the honey. It has to be chased through the pages of a book. And she held the book, honey and all, close to her chest. She could feel tears rolling down her cheeks, but they weren't tears of sadness. She was happy, so very happy. So I'm noticing that in both the beginning and the ending, Patricia Polacco finds the same book and drizzles honey on the cover and says the same thing about chasing knowledge through the pages of a book. The difference is that at the beginning, she doesn't know how to read yet. And at the end, she has learned to read and she feels really happy. So that's how the beginning and ending link together. So now I'm going to try to think of how can I link together the beginning and ending of my story? I'm going to take out my writing. So I'm just going to look at the beginning of my story. I can't wait to get a kitten, I thought as I entered the Berkeley Humane Society. A woman led me into a room. So at the beginning, I don't have a kitten and I'm really excited to get a kitten. I want to get a kitten. Let's look at the ending. Excuse me, I'd like to adopt her, I called to the worker. Okay, let's fill out Sunbear's paperwork, she replied. I looked down at the kitten and smiled. So at the end, I've adopted her and I'm really happy I've adopted a kitten. I think something that would really add to my ending is if I name Genevieve and I show that that's her, what her name is going to be because then it's showing that she's part of my family and I do remember that I named her before we left the, before I left the Humane Society. So I'm going to add that to my ending to link together my beginning and ending. I'll add it here. I know what I'll name you Genevieve. I whispered. So now I'm going to look at my beginning and ending again and think about how they link together. I can't wait to get a kitten, I thought. As I entered the Berkeley Humane Society, a woman led me into a room. So at the beginning, I'm really excited to get a kitten. I don't have one yet. And let's look at the ending. Excuse me, I'd like to adopt her, I called to the worker. Okay, let's fill out Sunbear's paperwork, she replied. And if you remember earlier in my story, I really didn't like the name Sunbear, I wrinkled my nose. 
I looked down at the kitten and smiled. I know what I'll name you, Genevieve, I whispered. So I think adding this really helps link my story together because I give her a name and show that she's going to be part of my family and I'm taking her home. So second graders, today I would like you to read the beginning of the story, of your story, read the ending and think, do they link together? If they don't link together, I'd like you to change your endings so the beginning and ending of your story link together. When you're done, continue to work on your writing if you're not done with your story. And if you haven't gotten to the ending yet, you'll wait to do this until you get to your ending.